So some of you regular subscribers might be thinking, oh boy, Jordy's gone crazy. Another Christmas tree video. Well, that's right. I am a little bit crazy. And today I'm going to do another video, show you how to put the Christmas lights in the Christmas trees and how to carve them. And this one has a twist. So the first thing I'll say, let's get straight to the point. These are battery powered lights. I got from the dollar store. I think they're $2 a pack. The most important thing for me this is all my opinion is drill your holes first for your lights because then when you do the detail carving you'll be able to, to work the holes into the detail carving so what i'm going to do i know on these lights there's 11 holes so i'm going to carve 11 holes on each tree yep so this will be the back side of the tree i always put a little s at the starting point so when i put the lights in, i know where i started so i'll have a pattern right so let's get the holes drilled in 11. Okay, so now we got our holes drilled in, do a test thing, make sure they fit well, no problem, good to go. So now we can turn this around and start carving the face. Okay, so there's so many different ways you can carve these trees. You can do patterns, you can make one big nice swoosh here. Because the wind tree is kind of, this is more like a Grinch tree. It's blowing, then it's blowing this way, if you guys can see the whole thing. See the flow? So you can do straight trees too. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to start, I'm going to do the same pattern on, here's the center line, okay? And I'm just going to keep coming off. I'm just going to keep coming in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carve these lines in deeper. Okay, so I'm going to carve on this side, on the bottom side of the line to make this, we'll just call these branches, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve, this will both basically be a time lapse because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to carve on this side of the line underneath, on all of them, underneath, underneath. And then it will make this branch here seem higher. So I'm going to car carve a straight line here, then remove this wood here to, to make the branch exposed. I will try and make little points down here. But this board's so small, it's out of a 1x6 uh, cedar fence board. So you guys, goes to show you, you can go to your hardware store and buy a 1x6 fence board and make these trees, right? So, but I will try and make uh, little points here, but we'll see. Okay, so this is my go-to burr. This is the burr I use 90% of the time. It's a Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr, okay? See how aggressive it is? Um, if you guys want to get these burrs, Go to the description down below. A whole menu will uh, open up with my Amazon store, but you'll see a cuts all site. Go to the cuts all site, use the code CFUSION, and save yourself 5%. Okay?
Okay, there you can see the trees are all carved in now. Um, I just want to take a second to, uh, to once again, I'm making a Christmas video before Remembrance Day, so I want to give my respects to all the soldiers out there that fought in the war and um, lost soldiers. So you can see the different shapes in these trees. You guys can make your sh tree shapes any way you want. So this part of the video is oh, one other thing I want to say too. Why I see why I drilled those holes in first before I put the details because then when you put the details you can carve right over the over the holes and clean up the blowouts or whatever you get, right? So this is going to be the most difficult YouTube video I have ever made because I've done a bunch of things prehand to carving these trees and I filmed it like these boards which the trees are going to sit on and um, it's going to be tricky for me to do so you guys bear with me it's my first time trying this it's a voiceover and it will just show you a step by step what I'm going to do to um, finish these Christmas tree stand things yep sorry everybody before I get on to the voiceover what I'm going to do is I got this little torch here benzomatic I'm just going to lightly burn underneath the points. So just like that, a little bit more. I'll burn the trunk a bit more. Not too much. You don't want to burn away your detail. Okay. And then I'm going to use my uh, this uh, Scotch Bright with the Peter Blair sanding mandrel to clean it all up. Sorry, 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 sorry. One more thing. They're all burnt and cleaned up. Now I'm going to hit them with some Mod Podge. Let them dry. Alrighty. So here is my... Mod Podge tree, the matte finish, holes drilled in it, and here is a base. Okay, the tree is going to go on this base, and from this point on, it's going to be a voiceover till the end because I got to show you how I'm going to put everything together with the bits and pieces on the stand. Okay, so before I get into it, I just want to say I'm going to be doing most of my stuff with my hot glue gun, so I don't have to keep saying it, and little bamboo barbecue skewers, okay? Just like this. And let's get the friggin' tree on there, and there we go. Let the games begin. Okay, so here you can see the base has some holes in it. That's because I want to have lights in the base. These are just simple wood blocks. Instead of going to buy some uh, proper things, I thought I'd make this whole whole thing uh, homemade. I'm just wood gluing them on. I'll paint them later. Because I need the piece to be rised off for the lights. So there you go. Wood blocks are in. Here is a little Christmas tree. Maybe not a Christmas tree. Just a little tree I'm carving out of basswood. I'm using a metal working burr to uh, do it. Just kind of making it a spiral tree. Uh, like a west coast kind of deal thing here is with the scotch bright just quickly cleaning it up and I'm going to paint it green as you see abracadabra there it's green and I do wipe off the green all the trees everything's mod podge so here's a bunch of more little wood blocks cedar wood blocks I got from the same piece of wood I'm just going to quickly paint them to kind of look like presents and I do mod podge them too everything on this piece is going to be mod podge to give it kind of like a not too shiny, just a little bit shiny. So there's the presents. I did uh, paint some white stuff on them, like string. Here I am hot gluing the presents down below the tree. So there you can see the white stripes on the uh, presents I painted there. I put some sparkles on them too. The ladies like sparkles at Christmas time, so. Okay, so there's the presents all glued on. Here's the Christmas tree. Sorry, this is bad camera, man. But I got that uh, little dowel in there, hot gluing it in. Pushing the Christmas tree down. There you go, it's glued in spot. And uh, abracadabra. I was gonna, I did glue this um, rubber wood spirit down because I want it, because I am gonna paint this thing like with snow. And I want it to make it look like there's a face on there, but I ended up uh, removing it after all. Okay, so the Christmas lights. <clears throat> excuse me this so I have to do some wiring here and you guys that's the great thing about LEDs and batteries you're not going to get electrocuted so there you see I counted off the lights these are the clear ones okay so I could save that box for later right for another project so there's the clear ones in my hand here's the color lights they're on a sick they're on a timer they stay on for six hours turn off for 18 hours 
I want to have 11 of these lights, so here you go. You see me counting 11 of them out, 11 of them out. For the 11 of them out, sorry, for the tree. And you'll notice that when I cut the wires, I cut them farthest apart from the light. So I got more room for the lights to hit the bottom base. And I did that on the other set too, okay? So boom, abracadabra. These are little um, connector things that you heat up with a lighter. Pete introduced me to those. You get them on Amazon. So all you do is just uh, get your ends of the wires clean, coiled up. Okay, you can see I already got that connector on the side of the wire. So here I am now is wrapping the wires. Make sure they work, right? Make sure you got each uh, circuit connected properly. You could solder this or do whatever, but... So you slide that over there, okay? Slide it right over the connection. I just got some uh, little pliers. And there's a little solder thing in the middle. And I just squished that. I don't know if you need to, but I just squished it anyways. And that will hold the wires together. And all you do is just get your lighter and that uh, rubber on the outside will seal up and tighten up and hold your wires in place and there you go. Not rocket science. Science. So there's our lights. Ready to go into the tree. Boof and boof. So here's me putting the lights in the back of the tree. Now make sure you get the proper holes drilled to the proper amount of lights because if not you'll have to plug one of the holes with wood and it's just kind of a pain in the ass. These lights are a little bit tricky. I have to hold them because I, I want it to be nice, right? I don't want them to be sticking out too far. So I'm just making sure they all go into place first. Everything works. Okay, just making sure they're, each light goes in each hole. Pretty soon I think you'll see me turn them on. it's kind of like a little it's it be messy sometimes but you just got to get her done okay so you see me holding each light pushing it in and making it space in the hole properly usually I have the lights turned on when I'm doing this at all time to make sure that they're working and something doesn't short out when I'm doing this so I can fix it before I get ahead of myself but I didn't do that so here we go there's the piece what it looks like so far here is stuff that I really love. It's called Glitter Snow. I think it was like $17. It's in my Amazon store, you can see. And then here's some snow stuff that I got from the dollar store, like cotton stuff. But I really didn't think it would be good for this project, so I scrapped that. And I'm just going to use this whole thing of... Uh, it was about three quarters of, to uh, paint the snow on. It's got glitters on it, in it. So here I am just spreading it around. Like I said, I do take that rubber wood, wood spade... Uh, spirit face off the piece because the snow wasn't sticking to it very good right I primed that board just with this like a uh, dollar store white paint so anyways hope everybody's doing good that's just about spreading the paint out trying not to make a mess don't overdo it this stuff, I've been using it for a couple of years. I'll show you at the end of the video. I put it on the tree so it looks like there's snow on the tree. It gets pretty solid, so you got to wait 24 hours for this stuff to dry. I put it on thicker at some point, so it might be more like waiting 48 hours for this stuff to dry. So anyways, there's me wasting more on that silly little rubber wood spirit. Just trying to get it there, trying to make it look natural, right? And I got to work around, you see the lights are in place there, I got to work around the lights and stuff. Getting between the presents, putting a little bit on top of the presents and just doing whatever you got to do. There I was just cleaning the lights. Maybe I should have sped this part up a little bit quicker because, well, it's not that exciting to watch. You really don't see too much sparkles and stuff right now, but at night time when you have lights shining on it, that's when the sparkles really um shine but i'll show you what we do to fix that problem up anyways oh yeah it's how it's a christmas piece sparkles dollar store sparkles yeah here i am just sparkling them on sparkling the sparkles on i use all different colors i think there's four colors there i could have done just basically silver because the 
different color of the Christmas lights would have made the silver um, different colors. So here we go. Now I'm just going to sit and wait for this thing maybe 48 hours for it to dry properly so all that snow gets pretty tough. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles there, but yeah, it's sparkling all right. Yep, there you go. You can overdo it. I think I overdid a little bit too much, but who cares? There's the snow on the Christmas tree. You know, so I think it speaks for itself. You can use white paint too. But 17 bucks, you could, I, I could have probably done 20 of these, or 30 of these trees with that little tube. It's in my Amazon store, by the way, if you guys want to get it, just in the description below. Anyways. Okay, everybody, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Super fun Christmas project anybody can do. We'll turn the lights on here in a second. Also, I want to say that um, I've created my own snow now because this stuff gets to be too expensive if you're going to do projects like this. So um, I have another YouTube channel. It's called Let Art Find You. I'll leave a link to that uh, channel below if you guys want to. It's more for arts and crafts and stuff like that because I don't want to be stuck doing wood carving all winter. I want to do different things too. So it's just about having fun really. Um, so let's turn the lights on. So you got, got all your lights back here, right? Click it on. There you go. You got the lights in the snow. You got your little tree there. You got your presents there. Little presents here. Just a silly little Halloween. I mean, uh, Christmas project. Yep. And you guys, for all you that really know me, you guys know I'm not done with this yet. Let's do this. Let's go like this. Abra. Cadabra. There you go. That's a bit better. So, uh... You guys, I want to say for any of you guys didn't see my gnome carving video, I do have a video up of carving these gnomes about a week ago. Um, my sister, I told her I wanted $50 for it. She gave me a crazy mean mug, so it motivated me to carve this base because now this is, in my opinion, it's worth triple. It's worth three times 50, 150 bucks. Maybe somebody wants to pay it, if not 125. And if, it's, if somebody doesn't want to pay $125 for it, I'll give it as a gift Christmas present. And for you guys that really know me that well, you know I'm not leaving it at this. We got something else to kick to the story here. Let's do it again. Abra Cadabra. So Ben Studio on the Lake there, guys, his YouTube channel, Ben Studio on the Lake, he's been doing these Christmas cards. And he said, you know, like, he uh, water-based Christmas cards, he sells them. So he goes, why do I want to do, like, one card at a time and make uh you know like whatever why not make 10 cards at a time and make more money and do it as a system so that's what i that's what i did here i did it as a system i did two of these it's a lot of friggin these things are a lot of work you know and the more that you do the more you're going to get better at placing things so you see this light here i placed it so it's right in front of the uh gnome guy so we'll turn the light off and you'll see how it kind of lights up his face it's not really that dark yet. And see, I kind of left, I put the snow in front of the light so you don't see it. But if you look here through it, you can see the light. I didn't put the snow on the back side of it that faces towards the gnome. Same with the tree here, right? I put lots of snow on the front of it. They look really bright on the camera. They're nowhere near as bright as this camera shows, shows it. But on the back, there's no snow there, so it gets up in the tree really nice and bright. It's not that dark yet. If you guys think I'm, if you guys think I'm done here, well, let's just finish this video off with a montage, as my buddy Ryan Cook would say. You know, we'll just, we'll just uh, run some music. I'll wait for it to get a bit darker here, and I want to say, uh, everybody, right now, you guys can do this. Super fun projects, you know, and just get into it. Just get her done. Just get her done, right? Silly little gnomes. Everything's a lot more sparkly. I do I do have better sparkles now. For like, uh, they're, um, you can't really see the sparkles in the video. Oh yeah, I guess you can see them here. But I got the abalone sparkles, so they're like pearl white. So they look more, a lot more like the snow. But you know what they say, the lady loves sparkles at Christmas time. These things are way more sparkly than they seem like they are on uh, video. Okay. 
So let's do, uh, let's finish it off with the montage. Three, two, one, go.